mine like a variety of things. Acacia is a treat, but oh dearie, dearie me. That's going to upset some people, I fear. What do you think of that consistency? It's, mm, it's all right. Right. Looks like cat food. <laughs> so when? When? Watcher potheads, welcome again to the dugout, bug out, bug out, fug out, fug off bunker. What? What's it called? Watcher potheads and welcome back to the bug out bunker kitchen where things have become, I'm afraid, rather desperate. In fact, the only thing we have left to eat is cat food. Now, cat food is perfectly edible. It is, it is suitable for human consumption. And in fact, it has to be because the tragedy is that some people, when they get really hard up, eat it. It was recognised, I think, back in the 1970s that this was happening, so it became the law, as I understand it, that all pet food, dog food as well, had to be fit for human consumption. Now, this is one that my cat likes, and Tom's cat likes this one, which is chicken and cheese. This one is... what is this? Beef and poultry, whatever that means. So, I wouldn't want to eat it straight out of the packet, I'll be honest. I mean, I'm sure I could do it, but it might be a bit gag-worthy. What I thought we could do is use it to make a pie. Standard pie, we've got some onions, we've got some thinly sliced carrots, a bit of chilli to disguise the fact that it's cat food, and we're going to make a topping with smash, instant mashed potato. If you're old, you will remember the advertising campaign, very successful one, award-winning, on the television, which featured these aliens, these sort of Martian figures, as well they might, because this stuff is from outer space. Let's put that to one side for the moment and begin with our two frying pans and a bit of cooking oil in each one. As with any pie, really, we will start by frying some onions until they are softened and tender. Then we will add carrots and chilli, then we will add the cat food. Turn these on, wait for them to warm up a moment. I've got two types of this cat food, uh, which is, what's this called? Is this Felix? Yes. Felix cat food, lamb and chicken and beef with poultry. So that's the sort of red meat version of the pie. This, these are both chicken and cheese. That will be the chicken version of the pie. Nothing else to do now for a moment, except wait for that to heat up and put on our oven, because ultimately we will be cooking the pies on 180 degrees until the smash browns off. You can put the kettle on for the smash as well. But Tom points out I can put the kettle on for the smash. He's quite right. In fact, I've never, although I'm sure I must have eaten it when I was a boy, I've never made smash. One portion, 30 grams of smash, a quarter of a pint, of boiling water. This is 280 grams, so, well, that's just some, isn't it? Oh, look, that is amazing. Can you see this without me pouring it all over the floor? That is instant mashed potato. I expect they had it in the war. Uh, blah, blah, blah. How much do you reckon 30 grams is? I reckon it's about that. Tom? Yeah, I think we just have to experiment a bit. It's not going to be critical, is it? Let's face it, we can always add a bit more smash or add a bit more water. It's a bit like mixing polyfiller, the old-fashioned way you end up with ten times as much as you actually need. That's going to be about... there. It smells of potatoes. Why wouldn't it? It's made with potatoes. Does that look like... That's looking mashish, doesn't it? I'm not sure I've made quite enough. If I add a bit more smash and a bit more water, will that be okay, do you think? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add another that much. Diddly, 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 diddly. Of course, while I'm doing this, my pans are heating up and I've forgotten about them. Anyway, that'll be fine. Right, here we go. Pie making. Start, as usual, with some onions. Half that in each one. Pan's not hot in the slightest, so I was wrong about that. Well, maybe it is. Who out of Tom Witter and Lucy Brown is going to be interested in trying cat food pie? Definitely not. No? I'll give it a go. It's perfect. It's absolutely harmless. It's made out of the same stuff that humans eat. In fact, in very small writing on the tins of posh cat food that Tom's cat eats, it does say that this was originally intended 
for human consumption, but for economic reasons, they decided to make it into cat food. I don't know if the economic reasons were that they couldn't sell it to humans anymore because it had gone rotten or what. But anyway, it is perfectly safe to eat. So now I think we are at a point where we could reasonably add some very thinly sliced carrots. These haven't been parboiled, but they should cook rather in the way they would in a stir fry because they're very thin. They have a bit of moisture inside them, carrots, so they will, I mean, they'll just cook, won't they? That's quite a lot of carrot, but carrot is good for you and hopefully will help disguise the, t the flavor of cat food. I was about to say, this ring on the left performs so much better than the one on the right, but that is, of course, because it's bigger. I've forgotten that. Good, we'll add some chilies in a minute, then we can think about the cat food. Good God, we're going to eat that. I've had pâtés that smell as bad. Very excited about seeing Tom's cat food because this is a new one to me. Oh yeah, oh I mean that just looks, that actually looks a little bit like, um, get off your cat. That looks a little, jeez, it's a bit high. That looks a little bit like crab meat, doesn't it? Right, two lots of chicken and cheese. Let's add some chilies to that mixture. Give it a bit of a kick. So far, this looks and smells extremely appetizing. I think that may change in a minute, but let's see. Okay, in wok style, I'm gonna move those ingredients to the edge of the pan, and then we will add cat food to the middle. I'm gonna to put Tom's in the smaller pan because I think it will cook more easily. There we go, are you getting this? That's the chicken and cheese, as favored by Tom's cat. What's your cat called, Tom? Uh, I've got two, actually, but one's called Kylo. Kylo? Yeah. Or the Gupta. Right, the Gupta. Kylo and the Gupta like chicken and cheese. Mine like a variety of things. Occasionally as a treat, they, oh dearie, dearie me. That's going to upset some people, I fear. But it's going to taste fine, don't worry about it. Lucy? Right, let's cook those very thoroughly. That was fairly... Uh, as they would say in Bristol, it stinks up in. Need another wooden spoon. There you go. Thoughts? It's better than peanut butter. <laughs> Lucy, you're looking appalled. I am. I can smell the liver. That's good though. We'll have to show the, this video to the cats when we've finished it and see if they approve. Well, I'm beginning to wish I'd brought the posh cat food that my cat likes rather than the slightly pinky stuff. Yeah. The smell is extraordinary, isn't it? It's not offensive though, is it? I think a pinch of salt in each one would probably help. At this point, we have the option to add anything else we think might make this more palatable. I can put in brown sauce, red sauce, Branson pickle, bovril, or do you think we should just brave it out? I think we just brave it out because we're trying to see what the cat food's like. I agree. Very sloppy. Christ, there's no wonder cats are so pissed off all the time. How's the mash looking? Excellent, I'd say. I wish there was some way I could describe to you the smell in this kitchen, which is uh, challenging. I mean, not hideous, but that smell, you lived in France, Lucy, there are certain French things like Enduette would smell a little bit like that when they were cooking, because that has liver in, I think, doesn't it? That's a, it's a very rustic cooking smell. This one doesn't really seem to smell of anything in particular. I would say they are pretty much ready. What do you think? Okay, those are going to be decanted into these two little ramekins, topped with mashed potato. Um, and then put into the oven at 180 degrees to brown off. Can you see this? We are filming some more things for Food Tribe tomorrow. If Tom and I don't turn up, you'll know why. Chicken and cheese cat food. Just leave those to cool for a bit. The oven is on. The mash is prepared. We need some means of applying it to the pie. We will use this, because you should do this with a piping nozzle and a bag, but we don't have that, weirdly, in a 
bug out bunker that's only got cat food left in it to eat. That simply looks like a fairly innocuous individual pub grub type pie. You know, these, these little ramekin, if that's what they are, took more potato than I was expecting. Good. Are we happy for that? Do you want to have a quick look at them? They both look exactly the same. They look like little pies with potato on the top. Little pies. The one with the small stain on the side where I spilled a bit is the beef and lamb version. This other one is chicken and cheese, although the beef and lamb one does also have chicken in it. Here we go, into the oven, 180 degrees, let's say for 20 minutes. Yowzers, should be enough. Then we could possibly put the grill on for a bit to brown them off, out, and then we'll see what they're like. I think what we'll do is we'll tidy up the kitchen and then we can present the pies as if this were a proper food show, beautifully arranged, maybe with a little sprig of parsley on the top or seaweed. Good, right, who's washing up? Come on, I did the cooking. Welcome back to cat food pie. Now, these two pies, one is chicken and cheese, the other is a mixture of lamb and poultry and beef and chicken, or was it beef and poultry? And uh, Anyway, it's cat food. They've been in the oven for 25 minutes now and they're not really browning off. This one, which is the, the beef and lamb one, has gone brown on the top because the juices have risen up through the smash. This one, which is the chicken and cheese one, which Tom's cat likes, that is just going a bit brown, but really the smash has turned into polystyrene. Anyway, what we can do is, using this, which is a creme brulee browner offerer, we can, we can now give the top of the pie, oh, that's very quick. I don't think Smash lends itself to this sort of thing. That does look a bit better. It smells right as well. We'll just let those cool for a few minutes whilst we build up courage. In case you're thinking, ah, oh, well, whilst the, the camera was cut, they took those pies out and they replaced it with minced lamb or minced beef. No, we didn't, I swear. Cubs on it and all that stuff. We haven't interfered with these. This is still cat food. That is still cat food. The other ingredients, if you weren't watching earlier, are onion, chili and carrot, sort of things you would put in a bodged together shepherd's pie. There's no extra gravy added, there's a little bit of salt, but there are no tomato puree, brown sauce, bovril, or any of these other things that we could have put in because we want to know what the cat food tastes like in a pie. And remember, you may be reduced to doing this one day. Right, let's give it 10 minutes for the pies to rest. Right, we can't put this off any longer. Tom, if you'd like to make your way round to the front of camera, to try the cat food pies. And I think to begin with, I should try my cat's cat food pie, and you should, I'll swap them over to make this easier. They've cooled down a bit. There's your chicken and cheese, your cat's cat food pie. How should we do this, in three, two, one? Or should we just do it? It might be really hot. I'm more worried about the smash. Well, tell me, you go first. Okay. Just to, just to see if you survived. It does look a bit hot. It smells good. Oh, good. Needed a little bit more salt, but yeah, perfectly okay. Right, here it goes. I'm expecting yours to look a bit stiffer. Yeah, it is. It's like a consistency of like old putty or something. Oh, get a good bit of smash with that. You've got a bit of chili. That's uh, helpful. Okay. What do you think of that consistency? It's, mm, it's all right. Right. Looks like cat food. <laughs> right, here you go. I've had worse, you know. Yeah, I've had worse. Do you want to do a swap? Yeah. Mm. If, you did, if I didn't know that was a cat food pie, I just think that was a sort of an awful pie that hadn't been made that expertly. It needed a little bit more, it could have done with a bit more chili, to be honest, and definitely a bit more salt. Yeah, mine's missing a little bit of sophistication, but it's actually is yours, not bad. How hot is yours? It's okay. Chicken and cheese. Chicken and cheese. Better. Oh, mine's better than not, right, mm. okay. Let's oh yeah. See, let's see what this one's like. It's just a bit bland. I mean, people have told me that actually Although cats never say this, cat food is quite bland because 
cats can't deal with strong flavours. This sort of tastes livery, doesn't it? I've probably had worse back at school, back at Oh, home. God, yes. Yeah. Well, it probably was the same thing, actually. It does taste a little bit of rubber, though. It's, it's, not, it's not great tasting. That actually tastes quite, quite yeah. nice. That is, that is perfectly nice. This one is... I think Lucy would have a taste. It's really lovely. Have a taste, Lucy. Go on. Honestly, it's perfectly fine. It's fine. Come on, be brave. It's actually rather flavourless. Yeah, I think well, that one is. tastes. Yeah. So Tom's cat, you are much better off than my cat. Come on, Lucy. I'll make you a cheese sandwich as a reward. I've got another fork. Fortunately for you, it's a smaller one. You can take my place now. I'm not doing the cheese one. It doesn't actually taste of cheese at all. It tastes of chicken. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Have a bit of smash as well. I really don't know if I can do it. I'm not making you do it because that's workplace bullying, but if you want to, feel free. It's just a bit, it's a bit meh, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't taste anything. You sure you don't want to try chicken? Oh, it's got a half taste. Yeah, it's got a slightly, um, Horrible. it is rubber, you're right, it's got a rubbery. This one is much nicer. It's got cheese in it. Yeah, but you can't tell, honestly, it just tastes slightly, it tastes a very, very light chicken. Try a tiny, well, don't if you don't want to, I'm not going to force you, but. You can't be, bully me for I can't not bully, trying no. stuff if I try it. No. this is cat food. But it would be a shame if you didn't try cat food pie with cheese. Doesn't taste of cheese. Doesn't taste of chicken either. But it tastes like the smell of cat food though. Does it? It makes me feel a bit sick. Sorry. I think it's all right. I mean, I've definitely had worse camping. Mmm. That was a good mouthful. Cat food, as far as we can tell, is perfectly safe to eat and supposedly is. Um, we're not ill yet, but we've only had it in us for about 45 seconds. So uh, look out on Food Tribe for my report of hospitalization or Tom's, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's perfectly fine. Like, comment, subscribe. There's nothing of a cat way of saying that. Can't, I can't think of anything. <laughs>